Hi there, Chris here. So I'm still playing around with these American locks. And I don't think I've ever picked one and gutted it. And found that it could take a six pin and it doesn't have one. That <laughs> Murlock hasn't said, hey, you need to put the six pin in there. Or Barry of Southampton has made the same suggestion. And even though I'm lazy, they're right. You're, you're missing out if you're not... If if it could take six, it should have six. So we're gonna do that. So first thing I do, because we want to get the shim or the clip off of it, and I just use a screwdriver. And the way I do it is I just rotate this around till this guy hits in the slot, kind of hold it, and then slide this out till I can grab it. So that's out. Then key goes in, and then we put in a shim. I always use a shim. And I basically put it all the way in. Sometimes the follower will shove it, you know, if it's not all the way in. But it really does need to, to bridge that gap. So run everything through. Oh. I did a first take on this video and it um, <clears throat> it took so long. So pretend that pin isn't in there. <laughs> pretend this is, whoa, there's a wafer in here somewhere. This is wafered, how funny. That's something you don't see every day. Get in there. Hit that wafer back. There we go. So pretend there's not a six pin in here we're gonna pin it to six so oh there isn't okay so you can buy one of these it's an American uh, lock pinning kit and these are about I could say maybe 65 bucks and they have all the different key pins and they have some springs and they have security nuts and they have um, the little screws so if you ever strip out one, then you can use that. But if you don't want to buy, if you don't want to spend like maybe 60 bucks, you could buy a set of these Americans. And these are on eBay. Um, American Masters, and these go from 8 to 0 and all the different sizes. So you buy those. These are about, hmm, I want to say somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 bucks. Or, and, um, you can also buy, those are just key pins. You can buy security pins, and, and this is a set of security pins. It's spools and um, serrated pins and springs. And these are about somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 bucks. So, now you got all your junk, however you want to do it. So, let's do a six pin here. Um, and I just worked out of here, and I picked a pin, and it looks like I picked a green one, Let's see how that fits in there. So, Slinky, I don't think it's a good time to come up yet. So that seems to fit fine. Maybe a little low, let's try the next one. And sometimes, whatever, you know, however they cut the key, whenever they cut the key, sometimes it's just slightly different than what you're going to be able to use with these. But we'll see. Of course, you don't want it too high, and that's certainly too low. That's too low. So we're going we're gonna to go back. We'll grab a green one. We'll put it in, and that looks like it should work. So then we want to do this guy. And you can tell this is the front because it has the cutout there. So first thing that you want to do is grab a spring. Come here. Grab a spring. And lay it in there. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these. I don't want to open up this pack of security pins because I'm sending that to someone in mine or, I don't know, somewhere else at the moment. But what you can do is use a key pin upside down. And you see that will put those serrations into action. So push that down. Find our shim. Re-shim. Make sure it runs through the top straight. Grab this guy. Run it all the way down. Pull out your shim. Bing, 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 bing. It works. I'll pull them out. Get rid of that. Now these clips have a rounded side, which is you're seeing there, and a flat side. I put the flat side down. Lay it on top there. Take a screwdriver. Shove it down. Make sure it's tight. If it has an index thing, make sure the little index tab goes in, the, in there. Some of them do, some of them don't. Works fine. So this already has a bypass wafer, which is good. I'll put in that. Put in this. Put in our security nut. Um, do I have a screw? No, grab a screw. And I showed you could buy hardware screws. This is a real one. Or a what do you call it? Original. And there's a little resistance when you snug it up because of the uh, Loctite. So I always check before I lock it. Put in the screw, check it, and then, then lock it up, just to make sure nothing went wrong. So there you go. Now, I still have this one to do, because if I recall, this one was only pinned to five. So th that's how you could do that. Um, you could spend more money and get the pinning kit like this. But you don't have to. You can spend, you know, between $15 and $17 for to get some security pins. And then you can get, you know, all your different key pins for American and Masters. So I hope that's helpful. Anyway, thanks for watching um, on these cool Americans. We will see you next time.